Oh no. Don't get me in them weeds, buddy. Good morning and welcome to another episode with Real Hustle. It's a 4 a.m. start, it's 15 degrees, and it's lightly snowing here in Leadville. We're getting ready to go pick up Tyler and head to Antero Reservoir to do some ice fishing, and hopefully we can hold up some really big trout for you guys today. So thanks for all your support. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't, and let's get right to the fishing. All right, so we just rolled up here on the spot. We're getting the sled out of the truck, getting all of our stuff ready for the day, and we're gonna slide out on the ice next. Here we go. All right, so we've each got two jaw jackers out. We've got the tent popped up. We've got the heater bunny running. It's only seven degrees, a little chilly. But nonetheless, we're out here. We actually did have one rod just pop, but nothing was there. Just got slammed, it's been about five minutes. Feels like it could be a decent fish. Oh yeah. Oh no. Don't get me in them weeds, buddy. He's head shaking like a smaller fish, but he's also running like a bigger fish, so I am totally unsure what's going on on this one. Looked like a pretty decent rainbow. Fighter. See if we can get him through the hole next. These fights, these fish fight so good, guys. Didn't even look like the biggest fish ever, but he was fighting like he's Hulk Hogan. There he is. Mark Armstrong Jigs, do it again. Here he goes. All right guys, Tyler just got hit. First fish of the day. Feels good. Nice little average Antero pork chop. Just gonna get them back. Yes sir. We're off to a good start. It's a beautiful morning. It is cold, but there's zero W and uh, we got two fish on the ice. So we're pretty stoked so far. Hopefully we can see something uh, colorful, maybe a brown trout, maybe something of size. So that's part of it. You just never know what you're gonna get. So here we are. Feels like a pretty good dead weight fish. Uh, he's pretty average. Average bow, he's wrapped in my line like 15 times. Probably 16, 17 bow. Nice fighter though. All right guys, Tyler's rod just popped. He's got a second fish on. Nothing special. 
Easy. Average pork chop. Just do chop. this. Look at that, guys. All right, guys. Just got nailed. Kind of feels. All right, we're at. Feels like there. another average rainbow. Just give me a call once you're here. All right, see ya. Yeah, buddy. So Tyler was just on the... Oh, fighter. Dustin's coming out. So Tyler was just on the phone with our friend Dustin, who's going to come meet us. One of my rods popped. It looks like a pretty average uh, rainbow. Here he comes. A little bigger than maybe I some. Say, definitely best fish in the day so far. Here he goes. Well, he went backwards, but he's taken off. <laughs> so Tyler and I are at three for three right now. I didn't film one of his fish because it was like four inches long. It looked like the size of a Rapala. But uh, yeah, we've each put three fish on the ice, so we're pretty stoked. We've been out here for about an hour, hour and fifteen, and it's been pretty productive so far. All right, guys, I just got hit on my outside rod biggest fish of the day i think it's a brown it's a nice one come here just got this nice 22 inch brown he's not super colorful but definitely a sick fish male buck with a little bit of a kipe on him So just a quick update, we do have some snow rolling in from the west. It looks like a little bit of a nasty storm, we'll see. Um, but overall, we're having a great day. Um, Tyler's caught two pretty chunky bows and one little tiny dink. I didn't even get the dink on film because it came right through the hole before I could get to him. But I've gotten four bows, a couple of them averaging right around that 19 inch range and then that brown. He was a solid 22, kipe, just a beautiful fish. So we're off to a pretty good start. We've been out here for about an hour and a half. We still got a lot of time ahead of us, so hopefully we can put something else special in front of you. Holy f that's heavy. Tyler just got drilled with his fourth fish. New hole. Oh, he's in the grass, that's why. How's he feel? He felt good, but it's just an average one. All right guys, I just reset this rod and it got popped again. I mean, it must have been 60 seconds since I said it. There he is guys, just another average, beautiful Antero rainbow. We're just gonna drop him back in. We got the snowstorm coming in guys. Tyler just got popped. Oh, it's splayed. Just got this nice splake, it's been a while. Got this snowstorm coming in. Um, yeah. Just got popped and it looked like a smaller fish. Dustin's walking out. Nice. Looked colorful, whatever it was. No, just a little guy rainbow, I think. Little brown. Just a tiny little silver brown. Real pretty fish, skinny, long. We're gonna let him go. All right, guys, I just set this rod. Feels like a decent fish. I set this rod about 30 seconds ago. I was walking away from it, it popped. Oh yeah, he looks pretty good. There he is, guys. We're just gonna go ahead and release this fish. Another beautiful little standard rainbow. Tyler's on right now, and I'm hauling the drone over to see if I can capture some shots of him fighting it.
All right, guys, I just popped. Another nice little cut bow. We're gonna go ahead and let this fish go. All right, so we're just busting out the Coleman hot stove. We've got some chicken wings that my wife brought home from work the other day. We've got four of these burger patties, some cheese, some bread, some mustard, so should be grilling up here soon. We just dropped some wings on the plate just to heat them up. We got them burgers almost ready. We're gonna put some cheese on them and get them all dressed up. In the middle of cooking burgers, Tyler got smashed. We always get that mid-cook smash at one point. I just, guys, this rod just went off like probably 30 seconds ago. I just reset it. I was walking back. I looked back and it was off. There was a fish. Sounds like a decent one too. It's biting good. Put some bubbles off. It's like a pretty average, average rainbow. So I just threw the burners on low real quick and ran over and filmed him, but we should be eating pretty much next. All right, let's check these wings. Oh yeah. Three second. Couple wings on the plate, guys. A big old fat juicy burger. This is living, L-E-V-N. Little shot of some mustard, and we're big. Cheers, boys. Oh yeah. All right guys, so just a little update. We had that lunch, it was really good. And we cleaned up afterwards and Tyler's caught another fish or two. But overall, it's been a pretty slow go this afternoon and midday. Maybe get one more pop before we leave. So hopefully we can hold up something really colorful. That's what we're all kind of crossing our fingers for. Mr. Dustin got hooked up. How's he feel, Dustin? Oh, average. Nice one, brother. Skunks off. All right, guys, Dustin on fish number two. Nice fish, Dustin. It's been a really long time for me, but I'm on. Doesn't feel huge. Small guy. All right guys, just got this beautiful colored up rainbow on the Mark Armstrong Ice Fire Spawn Orange. We're gonna do a quick slow-mo and send him back down the hole. Nice colors on this fish. All right, Tyler just got drilled. Well, got another fish here. Another little ant taro pork chop.
All right, so it did get slow on us for a couple hours there midday after lunch. Dustin caught a couple nice fish. We just had rods start popping again. A couple new fish were landed. Um, it's a beautiful day. I mean, it's snowing. We actually enjoy it. It's real quiet and just serene. It's been almost no W all day long. We were the first ones out, and it looks like we're going to be the last ones to leave. So let's see if we can't put another fish or two in front of you before we pack up and get out of here. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and end this episode here. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. Tyler got that amazing splake. I got that 22 inch kiped up brown and many, many bows between. I think we caught over a dozen. We cooked that food on the ice, that was delicious, and we just had a good time all the way around. So thank you guys for your support on this channel. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't, and we'll see you guys in a couple days for another episode with Real Hustle.